Welcome back once again, everybody. Um, this is Griffin Lobster. This is the first time you've seen the uh, menu screen since the since the very very beginning of this thing. One year and two months ago. Jeez, you think about it, it's pretty crazy. Um, boy, can't believe <laughs> I really can't believe I'm finally done. Uh, you know, like finished. Uh, so we're gonna, of course, go here, and uh, we'll just pick. Like we'll pick this. So why, why not? This will be fun to go to. So what's the point of this epilogue? Well, I'll tell you. I know it's been a little bit. Um. Oh no, we're gonna do this crazy part again. No. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not actually gonna do this. But we are. What we are gonna do is we're gonna take a little stroll down memory lane, or rather, a stroll down primal memory lane, uh, because we have all these primal memories to see, which basically you, you are like. Um, concept art. And you get when you, you know, so here's like Raz, here's Oleander, you know, this is just, you know, it's just concept art. And you get it, and you get it when you uh, get all the mental uh, baggage in one mind. And that's when you unlock primal memories. So as you can see, there's just like bits from levels and stuff. Well, we'll go through all these, you know, why not? Remembering stuff from the game, so that was all stuff from Coach's mind. Um, so this is the there's Dogen, you know. There's Lobato, kind of a final look, and then there's the Nightmare Tower, um, in Raz's mind, or rather Oleander's mind, really, because that was revealed to be Oleander's mind. Um, there's like a cutscene, you know, rendered. And there's a uh, the blueprint tank, taken apart and stuff. So yeah. Uh, let's go here. That looks like the cabin. There's Sasha and Mia. Uh, here's the inside of Sasha's lab. And there's like, there's like a, some drawings of what Sasha's mind could be like, you know, um, putting the cube idea, and kind of onto paper, you know. And there's another cutscene, and there's the mega sensor. Remember that? Um, oop, wrong one. There's Mia Vidello, and then there's like dancers, and there's like the final dancers. There's like the TVs all around. I don't know if you remember the bouncer. There he is. Um, and there's just kind of like other... Like a slice of bread in that one? <laughs> what was that? Um, obviously, you can come back here and watch all the cutscenes again. There's Lily. And all the uh, regular memory vaults. And, uh, you know, it's just a fun way to, like, watch stuff over again. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to uh, a video of the bonus cutscene you get for getting 100 ranks. It's... Kind of okay, but I'll go ahead and put a link anyway. Here's Boyd's mind. Um, there's a, you know, the little G-Men stuff. There, there's a G-Man right there. You know, there's a dead mother. Um, so, man, I'm basically just doing this for my own good. This, this little, this little stroll down memory lane is stroll down primal memory lane is mostly for you know my own closure. There's Jasper, the Phantom. You know, just, just, just to finish this LP off with a nice little bow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fred's got like a little Santa out of his come hanging out of his mouth. A little garden gnome. Yeah, there's Napoleon, and then there's like the game board floor. Stuff from Waterloo. Oh, there's the pieces. There's the knight. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I just guess. You know. Just feels just feels good to be finished. You know. And uh, people have been asking me if I'm going to do a third LP. I am going to do a third LP, but I'm probably not going to start that till January. That's when a nice little break. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um. Here's the last bit of primal memories from the last mine. There's Shigor. I guess that's yeah, that's part of the asylum. There's Pokey Lope. <laughs> There's here's some meat circus then stuff. Oh, that part. Ugh. That part too. There's the butcher. That's it. That's Let's Play Psychonauts, everybody. Look at the slowdown finally coming to uh, see us off. Well, I I'm done, you know. I'm done. Holy crap. I'm done. I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! So you know what that means. That's right. It's time to enact 
Griffin Lobster's plan for the end of Psychonauts or when hell freezes over. Get it? Because it took me a long time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number one on the list is Kill Game Tag! Yeah, this is going to feel so good. All right, I'm already at the website. I'm really doing it right now. This is this is not faking. I really am. I'm not going to do Camtasia or anything because I'll probably screw my computer. But I really am at the website. I'm going to hit Cancel Subscription. What's my order number? 1161990. Get 1161990. I'm going to write that down. 61990. It's the foulest number in the world. All right. Please tell us why you're canceling. We're bummed to see you go. But before you do, did you know 90% of problems encountered by users are due to insufficient PC maintenance? Or maybe it's because your program doesn't doesn't work with PCs or or, or any computer, really. Because cause it's crap. Yeah, that's right. Game tap is the worst. All right. Oh, there's a bunch of reasons here. Um, none of them are none of them are mean enough. There's I don't have time for. I'm canceling. Change game collections. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go to other. Let's go to game tap. I'm doing this in all caps. Is the worst thing ever. A bunch of exclamation points and a one right at the end. Yeah. <laughs> it made me sterile. I didn't, it didn't actually make me sterile. I'm just, I'm just using that to uh, emphasize my point. And I'm really gonna put that in there because, because I can continue. Your account security. Got any order number? And it's one one six one nine nine zero. Verify. We done? Is it gone? Is it gone? <laughs> Is it gone? Did it work? Oh yes, yes it did work. Yes. Now I'll never have to darken my PC with you again, Game Tap. <laughs> Die! Uh, sorry I had to see that, folks. That was a little embarrassing, but that was a moment of extreme ecstasy for me. So let's move on to the next one. Number two is give impressions on Psychonauts. Come my final words in the game. Well, let me tell you. No, I'm not actually bitter at the game, despite the fact that. It made me its bitch for like a year and two months. No, no, no. I'm not bitter at the game whatsoever. I still think it's a fantastic game. Uh, really inventive, really creative, and so, so uh, intuitive. I don't know. And just a lot of fun, too, you know? I, if there's one thing that I'm proud of this LP for doing, it's for convincing a lot of people to go out and spend their money on this game. Um, because it really deserves to be played, and uh, Tim Schafer, you know, the creator, does deserve to receive money for creating the game. Honestly, you know, I'm really not <laughs> bitter. Um, this game is still amazing, so if you have a chance, you should still play it, despite the fact that now the entire game is ruined for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on to number three, which is wear the tuxedo again. Okay, that's actually a terrible idea. Um, so that brings us to number four. Tell the world. I'm gonna tell the world. And I'm gonna start with my roommates. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Dude, 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 I, I beat Let's Play Psychonauts. Can you believe that? No. Cool. Oh. He's, he's clearly really happy for me. Hey, dude, 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 dude. I, I, uh, I, I finished Let's Play Psychonauts. Oh. Thanks, uh, thanks guys. Alright, yeah! Woo! Oh, oh yeah. This is, what, this is what's going down. This is what's going down right now.
you put on YouTube? Uh, well, uh, YouTube is this place uh, where you can, you know, post videos. It's it's on the internet. Uh, well, the the internet is. Uh, you know, uh, never mind. Uh, love you. Bye. Well, that was a disaster. I'll see you on my next Let's Play. Yeah. By the way, guys, I cheat. Yeah!